Hello, back, Jim Caseman, back with you. And we're uh, talking about uh, biblical faith. And for the last uh, few sessions, we've been, the, the subject uh, we talked about was what will you confess with your mouth? And we used various different illustrations, you know, from spiritual growth and natural growth. We compared those two, and God's word is medicine, and and of course relationships. You know, we can either in, we can either build trust or we can destroy trust, and on and on. And then we came to the end where I uh, was emphasizing the importance of personalizing the scriptures, and 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 that's uh, how we can. Uh, it's, it's just something different about us saying it with our own mouth and, per, and personalizing it, opposed to just listening to somebody preach. And so we need to do this, and that's all part of meditating. You know, let me, uh, you know, Joshua 1 8 says, This word of the Lord shall not depart, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. Think about it, talk about it, mutter it, mutter it, repeat it. And then faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Now, I was preaching, sharing my testimony. I graduated from Rima in 75. And then uh, in 76, uh, you know, started pastoring this church of 12 people and on and on. And then all of a sudden I was traveling and, and in 76 and sharing a lot with full gospel businessmen. And they wanted me to share my testimony. And of course, I can't share my testimony without using scriptures. And so then I was sharing with my testimony and sharing all these scriptures, you know, who I am, what I am, and all of this. And then I had someone come up to me at the end of that service and said, do I have any books or anything on this? And of course, I didn't, didn't have, an, we, were, we were just believing God from penny to penny at this point in our ministry and life and didn't have money to buy books. And I went home then, December 1970, uh, 1976, December, and I had just come home from this meeting in La Crosse, Wisconsin with the Full Gospel Businessmen. And I was really troubled. And I figured there's got to be a way. So what I did, I, you know, we were introduced to all of these uh, scriptures when I, I told you when I first got to Ramah, we were con had these confession sheets, confessing scriptures, you know, and, and all of that. So I took those verses and, and, uh, and did what I called, I don't know if, um, how in the world do I do this? Do I put, oh, there it is. Uh, is, uh, is I put it together, a little track called Faith Aid. I don't know, to me it looks backwards there in the screen, but maybe you get the idea, I don't know. <laughs> and anyway, I put together this track. And so we were able to pr print a few million of them. And of course, we have already over two million uh, in um, just the Russian language. I understand that my office told me one time it was in 28 different languages. Now, that's some time back. And I don't know how many million we printed in English, and it's still one of the hottest things going. And of course, I, uh, I introduced the subject and the importance of confessing to start with, and then we go on, and, and I, what I will do, let me just give an example. And remember, now we're personalizing these scriptures. And of course, what I am in Christ. I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. My spirit is created in the image and likeness of God. Uh, of Second Corinthians five seventeen, I am complete in Christ Jesus. Colossians two nine through ten, I'm righteous in Christ Jesus. I have right standing with God, just like I've never done anything wrong. Second Corinthians five twenty one, I am redeemed from the curse of the law, poverty, sickness, and spiritual death. Galatians three thirteen and Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, I am God's child and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Romans eight sixteen seventeen, I. And then where I am in Christ, where I am in Christ. I've been taken from Satan's kingdom, and I'm now in God's kingdom, Colossians 1, 13 to 14. I'm part of the body of Christ, and Satan has no power over me. And, and uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 14 to 27, Luke 9, verse 1, and Luke 10, 9. And then I am seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus, far above all power of darkness and all things are under my feet. Ephesians 1, 20 to 23, and Ephesians 4, 6. What I possess in Christ, all my spiritual blessings in heavenly places are mine in Christ Jesus, Ephesians 1, 3. All my needs are supplied by heavenly Father in every area of life according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, Philippians 4, 19. I don't have to worry about anything, 
for God has commanded me to cast all of my cares over on him, 1 Peter 5, 7. What I can do in Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm a witness for Jesus, Acts 1, 8. I can and do tell others about Jesus Christ, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. As a believer in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out devils, I speak with new tongues, and when I lay hands on the sick, they do recover, Mark 16, 17 and 18. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4, 3. And then there's scriptures for comfort and strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength, Nehemiah 8, 10. The Lord's the strength of my life, Psalms 27, 1. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, 1 John 4, 4. I let no corrupt word come out of my mouth, but that which is good to edifying, Ephesians 4, 29. I've refused to give place to the devil, Ephesians 4, 27. I speak the truth in love and grow up in him in all things, Ephesians 4, 15. I let the peace of God rule in my heart. I've refused to worry about anything, Colossians 3, 15 and 1 Peter 5, 7. And whatever I refuse to allow here, God also refuses to allow. And that which I do allow, God also allows to come to pass here on earth, Matthew 16, 19. And then I am complete in him who is the head of all principality and power, Colossians 2, 10. And then we have scriptures for financial and material needs. I have given, it is being given unto me. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Men and women are giving into my bosom daily. Luke 6, 38. And I have paid my tithes and, and offerings, and God has opened the windows of heaven and is pouring out such blessings upon me that I hardly have enough room to receive them. And then there is no lack. And that was Malachi 3, 10. And then I have all sufficiency of all things and abound to all good works, for my God's made all grace abound toward me. Colossians, Corinthians, rather, uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 8. There is no lack, for my God supplies all my needs in every area of life according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, Philippians 4, 19. And then the shepherd, the Lord is my shepherd, I do not want. Psalms 23, 1. And then for guidance and wisdom. The spirit of truth abides in me and teaches me all things. He guides me into all truth. I have perfect knowledge of every circumstance and opportunity that comes before me. John 14, 26 and John 16, 13. And then I trust in the Lord with all my heart and do not rely on my own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. In all my ways I acknowledge him and he directs my path. Proverbs 3, 6. And I... Let the word of God dwell in me richly in all wisdom. Colossians 3, 16. I do follow the good shepherd, for I know his voice. This stranger I will not follow. And then, of course, there's, I'll jump over here to the love walk. And that's Ephesians 4, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, rather, verse 4 through 8, which you're all familiar with. And you just confess that. Now, I... Um, uh, now, this will, if you do it, you know, from start to finish, uh, you're talking probably 10 minutes, 15 at the very most. And this is what we would do every day. And then when I traveled a lot, of course, I was gone a month at a time, four times a year, and then three weeks a month, I mean, just traveled all over. I had Danny, recently my youngest son, I had lunch with him. And he was talking about how that they would get up in the morning before school. And Kathleen would read scriptures, and then they had to read the faith day out loud every morning. And he said, I actually got it memorized. You know, I think it's, you know, I forget now, 80 to 100 scriptures. And he had it memorized. And so that's how the kids started getting the word into their heart. That's how I got the word into my heart. And so now I found out because I did this for years, you know, I realized that starting from when I was exposed to it at Ramah, where they have you, that all of a sudden I found myself praying scriptures. That's how, I, a lot how I pray is scriptures because the Bible gives me something to pray about. And so I use scriptures and it's all become part, part of me. And of course, as you do this, you're going to find other scriptures that are not in this track. And because if you're reading the word, oh, I never saw that scripture before. Then you personalize that one. And so that's how you end up meditating on the word. Faith comes by hearing the word and how you can develop and become very strong spiritually. So, praise the Lord. <laughs> Contact my office, 
and they'll get some faith aids for you. All right, so time is up. Love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next session. Amen.